Hello everyone, I'm the Sparrow Jenny, and on this video I want to talk about a game that I have mentioned a few times before, but I never got into it, and I think it's only fair that I actually do at least one video about it while it's still not out. That game is Miscreated. What is Miscreated? Miscreated is a game that is being made by Entrada Interactive. I hope I am saying it correctly. And it's a basically an MMO survival game. With zombies, you ask? No, not in this case. Footage you've seen on the screen in the background is footage from their last live stream. One, one, one of the few live streams they've did with only concept areas, uh, one of the few errors they have done, I would believe. The game, by the way, is done in the CryEngine 3. So it's supposed to be the same engine that was made for Crisis 3. That has good things and that has bad things and we're already diving into the game itself. Now, CryEngine. CryEngine is beautiful and the game as it shows on the footage in the background is gorgeous. It has a fine art style as well. If I had to very shortly describe Miscreated, I would say that Fallout and Mad Max had a sun. Does that make any sense to you? The game setting is in 2089, I think, after a nuclear war. After two nuclear wars, I think, actually. And all the world was affected by it. And uh, humanity is short. There are not too many people in the world. So you're basically trying to survive against the mutated zombies. Uh, there I go with zombies. The mutated humans. They're not zombies. There's no zombies in this game. Well, it's peculiar, isn't it? You don't want to call it zombies because it's not a zombie survival game, but they are mutated creatures. But you end up calling them zombies because that's what you have in most survival games. But anyway, they are mutated humans that will attack you on sight. I actually haven't seen any so far about miscreated even though there's youtube trailers and images on the website you should check them out i'm not gonna put this in this video in the background because it's their stuff and i don't want to mess too much about it i'm just using this live stream footage because i think it's it fits this video and for the pur purpose of what i want to do which is basically softly introduce miscreated as a game now, CryEngine, I keep messing up all the topics. CryEngine is beautiful, is gorgeous. The game looks actually gorgeous. It has a lot of next-gen features. Just like, for instance, there's one time where the guy is hanging around near the grass and you see the grass and the flowers moving as he goes by it and steps on it. I mean, that's, that's amazing. The game is not only graphics, is it? So it must bring something else to the table. And CryEngine... I am both happy and both skeptical. Happy because I have a machine that handles CryEngine pretty well and it will run well and because the engine is beautiful, I will enjoy it. But there's a lot of people that can handle with their computer the CryEngine. CryEngine actually, I don't think it's that moddable. And this is not a mode, this is a standalone game that they are working on. The Entrada Interactive. They are an independent company. Uh, I should mention that. They're not too big, I would suppose. I don't, don't know where they are settled. But CryEngine is known for not being too moddable. Now, is it? So they might have some difficulties in including new stuff and different stuff from other games uh, in their own game in Miscreated. Anyway, I have here a list of features that will come out. Uh, with the game, uh, supposedly will come out during uh, with the game. The game is still uh, in development. This is pre-alpha footage, as you can see on the screen. Uh, you can see the basic interface. You have the health, the hunger, the thirst, and the temperature meters there. Basic stuff for survival game. You also have this is new, the rare radioactivity meter. So yeah, there's radioactivity uh, within the game. Futures. So, they're featuring a 60, 64 square kilometer map, which is about the same size as, for instance, in comparison, H1Z1, I think. They obviously have it open world. PvP, it's a sandbox game. They will have dynamic events. 
I don't exactly know what they mean by this. I would say dynamic events like earth shakes, earthquakes, uh, tornadoes, things like that. Things that can come naturally. Because this is not a sci-fi game. You will not see weapons with lasers or anything. This is a down-to-earth game after an apocalypse nuclear war. You have weapon customization. That's cool. And I'm, I'm listing this just to use to see if it's worth it to check it out or not. Because it's just not another MMO survival game. What it has different, what can it provide different from the others. Vehicle customization, so it not only has vehicles, and you can also customize them, uh, give them a bigger storage, make them stronger, make them faster, that's what I've read. read. You have dynamic weather and day and night cycles. It's actually visible in this live stream, and I'll probably show you that. Uh, they weren't able to show you the weather, but they were able to show you the cycles. You have in-depth crafting, so that's another thing different from games like DayZ, for instance, but it's something that H1Z1 will also have. Construction system, obviously, you will be able to construct things, barriers, um, maybe houses, um, I don't know, all type of stuff that you can make to survive. Not only that, they will handle a plus system. And this is something curious to talk about because I still don't know how it will work in H1Z1. But in here, miscreated, we'll have a plot system. I would say it works almost the same way as in Beasts of Prey, where in, when you spawn in the world, you can just come to whatever place, as long as it's not tagged and no one has placed a plot flag there, you can claim it your own, and within a certain space, uh, amount of space, room, you can make it yourself, uh, to yourself as your base. So they have a plot system going. They have persistent characters, which means when you exit the game and load again, the, your character will be there, it will be saved, and you will have all, supposedly, your items and whatnot. And it also comes with permanent death, so if that character dies, it dies for good. Bounty system. This is something curious, and thinking something that I haven't seen in other MMO survival games. So you can actually make a bounty on someone, I would believe. Maybe someone, maybe monsters around the world, maybe they will have NPCs to actually give you those missions. I'm not sure, this is just speculation, they haven't talked about this any longer. Another cool thing, underground areas. So you probably can get into the sewer zones, you can get into caves, underground areas. There will be an underground part of the world. I haven't seen that in H1Z1, I'm not sure if they will implement it or not. One thing that Miscreated will have, that H1 will not, is swimming. You can actually swim in Miscreated as well, and this is important to notice because there will be some areas which you can only access by swimming. Uh, underwater areas probably, and maybe islands, who knows, I don't know, <laughs> yet. So this is about it that I know about Miscreated, because I have mentioned it uh, it's one of the games I'm looking forward along with H1Z1. I know more about H1Z1 than I know about Miscreated, because I've been involved uh, somewhat more with H1Z1 than I have with this game. I know for a fact that they have been developing for around two years now. It's an independent company um, will, with probably n not a big, uh, a big team, so might still take some time before we see it ourselves and be able to play it. They had a release date set for June 2014, but it needless to say that they haven't um, done that. But they were greenlight in around 14 of May, about one month back, so that's good news for them. They plan, uh, as far as I know, to go on early access on Steam and then from there keep developing the game. Right now you can pre-order yourself the game. Uh, I don't think you will be able to play it right now. I'm not sure how they're handling that, but it will cost around $14.99.
if you want to get into pre-order and eventually play it when it is confirmed that it's out. I've actually already contacted them, but I wasn't replied back. They must be suck uh, loaded in all the work. So that's going to be it. I'll see you next time. Please like, comment and subscribe. Bye bye.